the ABC 10 News Pinpoint Weather Super 7-Day Forecast. So it's all for a good cause. It just doesn't look at, like it doesn't look good. I don't know if I like hot dogs that much, Laura, but you know what I do like? I love the weather along our coastline, don't there you? There you go. It'll be nice. That's better. <laughs> it's been beautiful. And let's take a look outside of our San Diego sky cam. You can see that marine layer is over the city. It is a beautiful night out there. Right now, temperatures are at 64 degrees, and it feels just like that outside. Humidity at about 90%. Wind coming out of the northwest at 8 miles per hour. Visibility for about 10 miles. Temperatures around the rest of the county right now. Up in Oceanside, it's 64 degrees. As we make it down the coastline, it is 63 in our South Bay in Chula Vista, 63 also in El Cajon, 64 in Ramona. We are in the 70s in our mountains, 99 degrees, still very warm in our deserts. Our coast hour by hour. So by the time that we wake up in the morning to head out to work, if we do have to go to work tomorrow, it's going to be about 64 degrees outside by lunchtime, 69 degrees. Our inland hour by hour forecast. We're going to be in the low to mid 60s overnight, but as we head out the door for work, it'll be about 69 degrees, 87 nice and warm in our inland communities and we felt those hot temperatures there but we do have a heat advisory in our mountains and we have an excessive heat warning in our deserts both issued until tomorrow night so what does that mean for you at home it means to make sure that you're staying hydrated try to lay off on the coffee a little bit because that does dehydrate you make sure that we keep it safe for our pets and our kids at home today was probably the warmest day of the warming trend that we've seen we are finding relief along the coastline like I mentioned to Laura and we do have a cooling trend that begins on the fourth of July. What better way to ring in Independence Day? Let's take a look along our coastline for the next seven days. So tomorrow is actually Oceanside's 135th birthday. So how are they going to ring it in? They are going to ring it in with a fireworks celebration the day before the 4th of July. So let's take a look at the forecast over there. In the morning, it'll be about 65 degrees. By the afternoon, it'll be in the 70s and it'll be about 70 degrees when they launch off the fireworks at 9 o'clock at night. By 10 o'clock, when everybody starts heading home from the celebration, it'll be 69 degrees. Our 4th of July forecast, it'll be 73 degrees along our coastline, and it's going to be a beautiful night out there, and we will see the 70s trend, 69 by next weekend. In our inland communities tomorrow, we will see a high of 87. We will see the mid 80s trend and we will make it back into the 70s, 78 by next weekend. We will see some patchy fog in the morning, but it should clear by the afternoon hours. In our mountain communities, we will see a high of 91 degrees tomorrow. Like I mentioned, we have that heat advisory in place. For the 4th of July, we will see a high of 86 degrees. In our deserts, triple digits. And when I say triple digits, I'm talking 115 degrees tomorrow. That is very warm. It might be a good day to head out there and see if we can Fry an egg on the asphalt. What do you think, Laura? Should we try it? That's a good idea. I bet you it probably would cook with how hot it is. Definitely. Thanks, Sierra. <laughs> now coming up.